In this video, I'm going to be talking about screen tearing on AMD graphics drivers and how to repair them. All right, on my website, I do have the instructions for the step-by-step -step guide to fixing or repairing screen tearing on your computer if you're using a Linux system or Ubuntu-based system and an AMD graphics driver. Now, if you're not sure if you have an AMD graphics driver in NVIDIA, graphics driver or the Intel graphics driver, you can use a GUI, which is a graphical user interface, uh, by going to your applications menu, your system tools, and going to your system profile and benchmark. After you do that, your system information dialog box will appear on your screen. And once that comes up on your screen, I want to widen it a little bit. You can go down to the PCI devices if you have a PCI graphics card, which I do. Scroll down to where you can see your video controller, which is the, my VGA compatible controller. If you look, my name of my device is an advanced micro devices, which is the AMD graphics card. As you can see, to be more specific, it's the Radeon HD 7850. And the vendor is the ATI Technology. I did try to go to the ATI's website and download the new graphics driver, but that caused my system when I rebooted to go to the black screen. So I had to uninstall that driver and go back to my newest AMD driver. Another way of testing it, and I have this on my website. So if you go to my website and if you're looking at this on YouTube, you'll be able to see the link below the video uh, that you can click and go to the site. And if you're on my site, uh, You've apparently found if you're watching this video you've apparently found the embedded video below but before I show you how to check your AMD or the type of card that you're using let me make sure that you understand what screen tearing is screen tearing is the appearance of horizontal sections on your screen momentarily offset from each other and two sequential frames are rendering at the same refresh cycle and here I actually generated I just took an image and kind of cropped it and offset it and saved it just to show you an example of what screen tearing is. You know, this is not video. This is just an image that I created. And this is what I found when I Googled. Hopefully, it, th this is in public domain because it was on multiple websites. You can see two tearing points. So on your computer, when you're playing like video games, watching YouTube videos, or when you're just moving things across your screen, you may notice these lines or these tears appear on your screen, and that is called screen tearing. Now, another way that you can test the type of video card is by using your terminal. Now, I use my terminal quite a bit, so I place the terminal on my panel. If you don't have the terminal on your panel, you can go to Applications, down to your System Tools, and then it's right near the System Profiler that we use, the Mate Terminal. Now, if you're not using Ubuntu Mate, because this works in other uh, versions of Linux, other types of Linux, uh, so you may not have the Mate terminal, yours might just be called the terminal. Another command that you can use is the INXI-G command. If you put this in your terminal, press the enter key, it will show you, and I'll stretch it out to compare what's on my website. You can see that I do have the advanced micro devices, which I have an AMD card. Uh, there's the type of driver, the AMD card that it's identified, which I have the Radeon HD 7850, as you saw in the system information that I went to in the graphical user interface. Now, if you look what I did when I created my web page, I was using a developmental version of the driver. Since then, I've uninstalled that when I went to get the newer version ATI uh, driver. But when I uninstalled that, when I went back to the AMD website, I installed the stable version instead of the developmental version. I didn't have any problems with the developmental version. I just didn't want to keep installing uh, you know, the newest technology because it may cause some glitching or conflict with something that's on my system. So I did revert back to the stable version. So when you look at what I had versus what I have now, it's it's the same, it's just that this is a stable version. But I have identified that I do have the graphical driver of an AMD, and that's the important thing. Now, below here, these are the steps in fixing your screen tearing. Now, it may not fix the screen tearing if you are using Google Chrome, Chromium, or your Opera browser. This will just mainly fix it if it's your system, like if you're watching VLC player, or doing other things you may get screen tearing this will fix it if it's on your system to fix it if it's in your Google Chrome Chromium or Opera you scroll down and these are the steps 
So I won't go through these steps in this video. I'll make a separate one because this may be an issue for other people other than Ubuntu Mate or Linux that has screen tearing problem in Chrome, Chromium, and the Opera browsers. So I will not include that, but if you're on my website and you see that, you don't have to watch the other video if you follow along with those steps. Now if you look here, I'm using Nano as my uh, editor, my text editor, so you can use your favorite text editor, but if you'd like to follow along to where it looks exactly as I'm using, you can use sudo apt get install nano, the text editor, in your terminal, and it will actually install the nano text editor, so it will look exactly as you see in the video. Now notice I said an important sudo is meant to be running command as the root user, so you will be prompted for your password. So anytime you're using the sudo, that's where it makes changes to your system. All right, to fix screen tearing, and this is what you came and watched the video for, you're going to have to make a directory in your Etsy folder, X11 folder, and you're going to create a folder called xorg.config.d. Now I can put that in the terminal, but you don't really see anything happening in the background. So I'm going to bring up my Kaja or Kaja file manager and so that you can see that what this command does. I'm going to go to my Etsy folder. To do that I'm going to go back all the way to the main drive, go to the Etsy folder. I'm just going to scroll down till I get to the X11 folder. And if you look here I got some uh, folders that start with X, but if you look on my webpage I will be creating a, a folder called xorg.config.d. So go back and see here it's not there. So I'm going to copy gonna copy this make sudo make directory command, which will allow me to make the folder xorg.config.d. And I'm going to place that in my terminal. Now I'm going to minimize my browser, and I'm going to have it where you see my Kaha file manager in the background. So when I press the return key, or my enter key, you're going to notice it's going to create that folder into this folder. So I'm going to press the enter key. And as soon as I do, because I'm using the sudo command, it will ask me for my password. So I enter my password for my machine. When I press the enter key, notice that it just now created the xorg.config.d. So you can also do this without using your terminal, but because we're using the sudo command, I like doing it because it automatically does it. Sometimes you try to make a directory and it'll say, you're in a system files, you can't unless you have administrative uh, privileges. So if I wanted to say, I could say create a folder, but notice I, I can't because I am in my system folders. I can open as an administrator to open this folder and put my password and then I can create a folder. But I like using the terminal to save me those steps. Alright, after we've created this folder, now if you look, this is a new folder, there's nothing inside of it. So I go back to my web page. The next thing says, use your favorite text editor, and I'm using nano, and you're going to create a file called 20-radeon.config. Because if you look back up here, my video driver is the Radeon HD7850. So the Radeon driver will work for my graphics controller card. So I'm going to highlight sudo nano etsy x11 xorg config d 20 dash radion dot config and this will create this particular file name. Now it's not going to place anything inside of it just yet, but it start it will create this file name and it will place it into the, our new folder. I press the enter key and notice I didn't have to enter sudo because I didn't close my terminal. Once you enter sudo, as long as you don't let a long amount of time pass by, you can still use the sudo command without prompting uh, the password. Alright, my next piece of information I'm going to place in there is I can place this uh, section, which is device, identify, which is the name of my video card, my driver, notice that my driver name is not capitalized and that's important. Then I'm going to put option tear free, which is on, and I'm going to end this section. And after I reboot my system, this will take effect. Now I have put this in my system before, and let me show you if this is all your system requires. You can come in here, paste into this the file, and when you do, you're ready now to exit. You can hit the control X, and when you do that for the first time, it will ask you do you want to save it. So I'm going to hold the control key down and press the X key. And when I do that, it says save the modified buffer, answer no, will discard the changes. If I press the Y on my keyboard, it is now save my changes. So it says 
write the file name etsy x11 xorg.config.d forward slash, which means it's placing it into that folder, and it's going to create the file name of 20-radion.config, and when I press the enter key or return key, it now goes back to my terminal, but if I look in this folder, there's the file that we just created. And if I double click on it, it's going to open with my text editor, which is not going to be the nano, this is my default text editor, which has the white background. If you look, I've got section device my identifier is the Radeon, my driver is the Radeon, not capitalized, option tear free, which is on, and in my section. Now this will not take effect until I reboot my computer. Now after I rebooted my computer, I did still experience some screen tearing with this particular computer with the Radeon ADM AMD uh, graphics driver. So if you're still experiencing some, some screen tearing, then you scroll down, and I have one more option to put in there. You can edit, which if you don't have it for the first time this will create it and if it's already been created it allows you to edit or make changes so I bring back up my terminal I place in the same command as I did before and in this time as you can see it's not a new file it's a file that allowing me to edit this now I'm gonna go all the way I'm just gonna delete it every bit and I could have selected it all and delete it one time but I've deleted everything as if it was a new file and I'm gonna copy all of this and I'm going to paste it in that file and I'm going to save it just as I did earlier so now when I press the control X key it now says do you want to modify which save the changes I'm going to press the Y key now when I press the enter key it now goes back to my terminal now I'm going to minimize the web page so you don't see what's on my web page and I actually I'm going to minimize the terminal and go back to my folder and as you see there, there's the same file name that was once on there earlier. But if you look now, I have some additional information. Before I had the Radeon, the Radeon driver, I had Terafree. The two extra lines that I added was these two lines. For my particular graphics driver, I did need to turn the option DRI3 and the accelerated method to Glamour. Once I did that and when I rebooted my computer and I started watching things on my VLC player, and things on my screen I no longer had screen tearing now that did not fix the screen tearing on my Google Chrome and I don't have chromium but if you look on my internet I do have the Opera browser so if you're experiencing some screen tearing in Google Chrome chromium or the Opera browser then you can go to my website and follow these instructions they're step by step step one step two along with illustrations all the way down to th so three steps and then reboot your computer uh, your screen tearing will be not only gone from your computer it will be gone from your browser as well so when you go to YouTube you won't see the screen tearing on YouTube and when you go to online video sites where you play video games the screen tearing should be gone from your system now I will eventually place a video on YouTube on how to get rid of the screen tearing in Google Chrome, Chromium, and Opera uh, but because this isn't just specifically for the AMD graphics I just included or made a video specifically just for that AMD card. Hopefully you've learned how to repair your AMD graphics card if you experience screen tearing. Now there are some folders now if you go online you'll see other fo uh, folders that listed other than the Etsy X11 where the people are creating this file and placing it in I my recommendation is don't place it in other folders it may work but other folders or paths are for the application file itself the system files the files that the program needs to run this folder the Etsy X11 X or config.d this is for you make the tweaks to your video driver and you have other folders in there where you make tweaks. I don't recommend tweaking the folder where the application is installed because you may make changes to something and when you reboot it could lock up your system. So I would recommend using this folder here to make the changes on your system. Alright, this has been a video on how to fix screen tearing on your AMD graphics. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you now have a screen free computer.